Welcome to the demo video for Rational Team Concert Enterprise Extensions. We will be taking a look at some new logging capabilities for ZOS dependency builds. Big improvements were made in the time it takes to publish a log to the build result. Part of the improvement comes from batching the updates to the build result. You can control the batch size in the Output Publishing tab of the Build Definition Editor. A higher value will have better performance, but will cause a longer wait until the next set of logs is available. When editing a DD allocation in the Translator Editor, the dialog has been restructured into a series of tabs. One of the tabs allows you to control the publish settings. DD now have fine-grained control over when they get published. The inherited option means the DD will be published based on the settings from the build definition, which is similar to the checkbox being selected in previous releases. If we switch over to the language definition editor, there's a new option that causes all logs for a source member to be consolidated into a single file when attached to the build result. The DD allocation dialog lets individual logs override the setting, but they will inherit the language definition setting by default. Consolidating logs makes the build result display much cleaner, and it's easier to find all the listings for a particular member. Switching to the dataset definition editor, there's a new setting to compact the member. When enabled, logs will be run through a compression routine on the host. When using a physical PDS for listings, this allows you to save space. The copy of the log that's uploaded to the build result will only have the trailing white space removed so that it's still human readable. A TSO utility has been provided to allow you to uncompact these members if you need to read them from the host. Like with the consolidate option, individual DDs can override the compact setting. In the translator editor, the ISPF and TSO call methods have been grouped into a single option, with a sub-option specifying the type of call. In this section, you can control the publish settings for the ISPF gateway log. Finally, when the log is in a physical PDS, we record its location in the build map. This information is available in the build map editor's logs page. If you have Rational Developer for System Z installed together with Rational Team Concert, then you can double-click the log to open the remote member. This concludes the demo. Please visit us at jazz.net.